Oh, what do we have here? Hmm. Let's set that aside. So what's inside these crates? I was given these by my parents for my 20th birthday many moons ago. Uh, if you don't recognize the shape and dimensions, when you see what's inside, it should become obvious. So, this came out of a step office. It was still around in the year 2001. And uh, as far as I know, they were around until around 2006, and then they were scrapped out. Uh, unfortunately, um, I, I didn't find out that they had been scrapped before it was too late. Uh, in the interior of BC, there were a number of offices that were abandoned in place. Uh, and I got a tour of one of them once in 2000, and, I think it was in 2001 as well. Um, and it was an amazing thing to see, to see a, a full step office just shuttered, basically. Um, so this is all that remains of that is well all that remains in my collection of that who knows if it ended up in someone else's collection this is a fairly run-of-the-mill selector uh 580141 is the automatic electric part number um so this is what the british people would call basically a pre-2000 selector uh in north america this is what we used up until we abandoned step equipment uh there were towns in BC that were still step up until the 2000s. Um, I think there were four or five left at the turn of the century. Uh, of course, they were all eventually cut over. Um, there might be pieces of this stuff kicking around out there still, but who knows? Um, telephone companies tend to not want to talk about um, that kind of stuff, especially post 2001. I won't get into too much detail about this. Uh, there are some other YouTube videos that show what these are. Um, standard selector mechanism that uh, I think, if I can remember, steps up and then around, do, 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 and then there's the release magnet. Um, so this is the same motion as a British 4000 series selector. Uh, but it's what's in the other crates that's really interesting. But first I gotta tuck this back away. Happy birthday, mom and dad. So let's take a look inside. This is where it gets interesting. I should try to get the whole thing in a shot. In there. Uh, this one isn't one of the super interesting ones, but we'll pop it out. Oh. So this is a very large um, relay frame. This says it's a sender. I don't know what it's sending. H85816 is the part number on this. There's a couple uh, uh, rotary stepping switches here. Uni selectors, if you please. And then a whole bunch of relays and some smaller relays. These are interesting because I haven't seen these too often. These have bifurcated contacts on them. So a normal, uh, I'll have another selector readily available. A normal automatic electric selector usually only has um, single, single contact terminals, not two that are forked like that. Um, so this was something interesting. I don't know what the dates are on it. It has a fairly modern looking GTE automatic electric quality control sticker over here. There, that green thing. I don't know what's a date on that though. Anyway, that one's kind of neat, but there's, there's some even neater ones to come. And what's this one? Ah, okay, this is the cool one. I think it's cool anyway. Not as many moving parts, but... There we go. Yeah, it's still horrible. Oh, that's whacking on the contacts. I don't like that. Alright, that'll have to do. Another one, this is a 85815, HA58815. Those are 85816, so these are a series. Um, it doesn't have the tag on the end here, so I don't know what it thinks it is. I have a feeling these are all part of that other thing. Uh, I'm wondering if it's part of a Stroger automatic toll ticketing setup, maybe. Um, but what these are here are automatic electric CODEL relays, C-O-D-E-L. Uh, they are um, binary storage relays. So they have one very big common contact on the back. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in more. There we go. So these are, you can see, I know we're looking at the back, I just, I didn't turn around, it's just coils. Um, but they're WXYZ, 
so it's WXYZ, and uh, they have a big common contact here, and these to be used just as a storage system. Um, so I'm guessing the stepping switches would count up a digit, and then uh, one of them, so one of them would count, and I see one with one, two, seven sets of contacts. Um, so presumably one would count, and as it was counting, it would um, select the right contacts on the Codel relay. The, I think it used it, I want to say a two out of five, but that doesn't make any sense because there's only four contacts. Um, maybe it used straight up binary. I would give for 16 digits. Uh, I'm sure they did something more complicated than that. Uh, so anyway, one, one switch would count up for the combination uh, that would be stored on this relay. It would get latched onto these contacts. Um, and then uh, the other one, I'm guessing, selected which of these storage units was to be selected next. So you dial a digit and it would lock it and go the well, I zoom out. So you dial a digit and it would first one, second, third, actually they're numbered 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I'm guessing digit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so first digit, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And uh, and then probably that other unit, the 16, would would pulse them out uh, at the appropriate rate. So this was a, a digit buffer. Um, if anybody knows anything about this stuff, about these specific units, I've searched everywhere. Uh, I haven't been able to find anything that uh, that leads very far um, on the back of the unit. There's a lot of jack contacts. So there's three positions of contacts. Um, so I'd like to set up my test stand to test them, but I need to get more contacts. I have a, a, a test stand, but it only has a single set of contacts, not three. Now, um, let's look at the next one. All right. I forgot about that. So this one is an oddball. That was looking terrible. So this is an oddball because in addition to four uni selectors um, and some graffiti, uh, it has a, a, a two motion switch on the bottom here. So on this switch, it's got a set of um, the same kind of programmable contacts you'd see on a digit absorbing selector. Um, so this had would have a bunch of teeth that could have been broken off. Um, the last contact is the only one left, which makes it function as an off normal contact. But I guess maybe they couldn't, I don't know, I don't know why they didn't add it just to the off normal contact pile up, a vertical off normal. Um, I don't think there's anything too interesting going on on this selector. Uh, does it work? Come on, come on. Oh, there, I'm turning it the wrong way. Uh, it looks fairly well used. It's a bit out of alignment. Um, and down here, it has just a single set of contacts. So this one has a label. It says coder. This is a 580, sorry, 85814. So this is the first in the ser series of whatever mystery devices these are. So there's the two motion switch, and then down at this end are a bunch of stepping switches. Again, any ideas what these are? I'd love to know. I've had them a long time now. There's a happy little CA relay there. So one. Eyebrows and smiles. Um, other interesting things. This switch is labeled sequence. SEQ. I'm assuming that means sequence. A A A B S E Q C S. Hmm. 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 I'd like to. They have a bunch of strapping blocks down here as well, with some strapping. I'd like to put some power to this. And uh, let me figure out the ground. Try to get the thing to step. I don't know. It would be interesting. Anyway, just thought I'd show these 
ask if anybody knew. Stick it in the comments. Love to know.